Hey guys, this is just a really quick one. Uh, it's a video of my 94 Ford OBS 7.3 IDI diesel with uh, 389,000 miles on it. Uh, I've got to run up to the Ace Hardware to pick up uh, some uh, parts for the 48 project behind me that I'm working on. And I thought uh, I'd throw one of the cameras under the truck and try and get some video of the blow-by situation. Uh, you know, this motor, I don't know a whole lot about it. I haven't had the truck all that long. And I, uh, I knew it had some pretty good blow-by, but uh, I didn't know what I was uh, in for until I saw the video. So check it out. So there you go guys, that's what 389,000 miles worth of blow-by looks like. Um, I laid into it a couple times, you probably heard the belt squealing. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna, I haven't watched the video yet, so once I uh, watch that I'll see how bad it is. I, you know, I, I've had a lot of comments from people that pull up next to me and uh, think my truck's on fire or I've got an exhaust leak or something under there. and. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's just, uh, I've got a draft tube. What, what you're seeing in the video is uh, uh, a draft tube that I connected to the front timing cover on the 7.3 IDI um, to, relief, to relieve the crankcase pressure. Because uh, in, the, in the standard setup here, the factory setup, the crankcase pressure gets vented into the air filter housing and sucked back in to the motor. Um, I've got a Banks turbo kit on here, and it did the same thing. It had a had a CCV valve, which is a big vacuum uh, diaphragm that allows that crankcase pressure to vent through the intake manifold, and it was filling the turbo with oil and burning it out the tailpipe. So, you know, I bypassed that, got rid of the CCV altogether. I'm not running one at all, and um, I ran a piece of three-quarter inch heater hose down the frame rail and dumped it there right next to the transmission and that's what you're seeing in the video is all the blow-by that this motor has uh, dumping out to atmosphere I know not the most uh, you know ecologically responsible thing to do um, but a lot of diesel trucks a lot of big rigs run draft tubes they they have open crankcase breathers and um, I would care to wager that a lot of them have a lot of blow-by as well. So that's uh, that's what you saw in the video, and that's the reason for the motor swap that's upcoming. Um, once I get the 48 done here, and uh, possibly the 66 project, the 66 Mustang that might be coming in here next, uh, I'm going to get back to work on the Ford, the 7.3, and uh, swap out that 7.3 IDI for a 5.9 Cummins, and. Um, you know, I, I could rebuild the motor that's in there, but rebuilding a motor and going through it and all that work, uh, just to have the same difficult to work on engine bay, you know, uh, and same lethargic motor didn't make much sense to me. So I patched it together and band-aided it up enough to uh, make it drivable. 
and it drives pretty good. It actually runs fine, and when you get it on the freeway, uh, the thing pulls hard and it feels smooth and comfortable. So I know it's blowing a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of blow by. The rings are definitely softened up a little bit there, but uh, it uh, it runs good. So other than the oil dumping out there, the thing runs uh, like a top. So that's that's what you saw there. It's probably a YouTube first is the blow by cam. I don't know.